Miguel, coach, let's go. Mohamed, Miguel, you received your instructions in the dressing room. I want you to protect yourself at all times, obviously, but above all, obey my commands at all times. First command is right now. I want you to touch gloves, touch them up. When the bell rings, come out fighting. Perhaps the judges in the first fight thought Joe Casamayor was the Puerto Rican fighter here tonight. Yeah. Abdullayev knows that Cotto is and says he believes he's going to have to win by a knockout. Well, Casamayor made it a big point to let everyone know that he trained in Puerto Rico for this fight. <laughs> Bell rings as Cotto has his back turned to Abdullayev. Abdullayev rushes across the ring as Cotto takes time to cross himself. And then Miguel lands a left hook and backs Muhammad off. They look very much similar to what we saw in the amateurs. Both of them with the hands held high, head bent down, short punches. The only difference is Cotto is seemingly boxing a little bit more and more relaxed. Cotto looks a little bigger to me than he did when he was 19. <laughs> I think Cotto has also benefited more from the transition to the professional style than has Abdullah. Cotto is more measured and takes time to put more mustard on his punches. The, the Olympic fight was at 139 also. Pretty much the same as what they're wearing right now. Abdullah with a straight right hand across the top. The crowd will be hoping to cheer Cotto into an early rhythm. Get him started with that left hook to the body. That is his money punch. Same for Abdullah. tries an uppercut in the middle. Precise offensive fight so far. Both fighters are going to have to work very hard to get a good clean shot in for the most part tonight because both guys are fighting so similar with the peekaboo style, hands, allies, and most of the blows are going to be landing on the gloves and elbows. Abdullayev has had an essentially one bad round in his professional career. His career has developed more slowly than that of Cotto. Part of it was the move from Las Vegas and trainer Kenny Adams to Germany and trainer Fritz Sedinik. If you're wondering where you've seen Sedinik before, you've seen him with both Klitschko's, Vladimir and Vitalik. And of course, you know Fritz very well, Emmanuel. Yeah, Fritz and I worked together in a couple of camps with the Klitschko brothers. So if Abdullayev moved from Kenny Adams to Fritz Sedunik, what style change might that create? I don't see it much different. He fought the same way when he was with Kenny Adams. You know, when a guy's had nearly 300 and some amount of fights, it's not too much change you're going to get anyway in that style. I think he was just probably more comfortable being back in Europe, maybe. Your hands off his head, Miguel. When we go to Abdullayev's corner, Jens Holling will be interpreting the German that Fritz Sedunik uses, and then there's someone else there who reinterprets the German into Isbeki for Abdullayev. I think Abdullayev just discovered that he's not facing the same fighter he saw five years ago. You work very good. You work very good. You have to move a little bit more. Your left hand is very good. But after that, you need your right, right hook. All right, breathe, breathe deeply. Breathe again. Once again. That's it. Throw that right. When he throws it, put yours in. Come on. The right up. Copy box numbers for round one reflects what Emmanuel Stewart said to you about the two peekaboo defenses. Neither man landing much. Cotto 11 out of 76, 14%. Abdullah 4 out of 40. Which one will be able to break the other man's down defense down first?
so far they're banging away at each other's elbows, arms, and gloves. Now Cotto slips a jab through there. Uppercut is blocked. Right hand lands for Cotto. Left hook sneak past Abdullah's right hand. Abdullah sticking his left hook to the body. Now right to the body. And these two styles can make for an exciting fight, but it also can make for a boring fight because as exciting as it can be, it'll be like a pattern fight. The same thing going over and over and over. And no one landing really clean, effective blows. I think it's going to be about the body punching, Emmanuel. Somebody's yeah. going to break somebody down yeah, but at me, some point. When you hold your hands like that, you are prepared to get hit to the body because you know you're giving up the body in order to protect the head. So usually you can take the body punch is pretty good, too. That's what could be the most effective is to punch up between the gloves. Whoever can find a good, a good attack working between the gloves is probably going to gain an edge as the fight moves on. We've talked in the past, Emmanuel, about how short of being well-conditioned, there's little you can do in the gym to affect the way you'll take a punch to the head or to the chin. Can you do things that will affect the way you take body punches? No, not for you only boxing. You get hit in the body enough and the body just gets tough by itself. But one time, some punches, you hit you in the body, those are the punches you don't see. But when these two guys come in and got their hands up, they know that they got their hands covering the head, and the only place they can get hit in the body, they use that their body muscles real tense. And there you see Cotto's strength as he backs Abdullayev off with power. Abdullayev sticking a left upstairs, but it was the body punching of Cotto that defined that rally and moved Abdullayev all the way back to the center of the ring. Cotto is showing his versatility. He seems very comfortable fighting off the ropes against a fighter who just marches forward like an army, never veering. But he's got to really pace himself and not overpunch himself too much because he's so frustrated sometimes and not being able to land a clean punch that he's trying to force an opportunity and opening. And he can actually tire himself out of it. Got an opening there, though, and cracked Abdullah with the right hand. Abdullah comes back and cracks Cotto over the top. They trade body shots. Good left hook by Abdullah. Straight right hand by Cotto. They trade body shots again. What a fight. But, uh, Abdullah looks very strong, and one thing that Cotto better watch out is for that short right hand from Abdullah. June 18, it's an HBO Sports special. Ray Romano and Kevin James making the cut. Follow both comedians. Well, I've been given the wrong piece of copy here. My, uh, here's, let's go with this. Glenn Johnson, Antonio.